Hey, this is Jonesy from Jonesy TV coming at you with a review for DC's Legend of Tomorrow Season 1, Episode 11, The Magnificent Eight. Basically, this episode, they go to the Wild West and contact Jonah Hex. And Jonah Hex is, if you don't know him from the DC Comics, he's basically one of the cowboy characters. Uh, so he's sat in a different time period. And in this episode, he uh, they work alongside him to try to hide out... Um, until they can uh, basically avoid the hunters, and they end up getting into a fight with the bandits because, you know, Brandon Roos, uh, Ray Palmer can't stand not helping out the innocent people of this town, and uh, Rory becomes part of the team again, and there's some cool dialogue between them, and Sarah really liked the atmosphere, and really acclimated the atmosphere of the Wild West really well, and we got an explanation behind why, uh, why, uh, <clears throat> Rip wears that jacket that looks like it's western. It's because he spent so much time in the west that he sort of uh, started making it his home. And him and Jonah Hex were best buds. And uh, Jonah's kids even named it, was named after him. And the whole town got destroyed because Rip intervened. So the Time Masters came and blew it up. So that explains one of the reasons why Rip hates the Time Masters. And as well as... Um, uh, basically, Jonah Hex was sort of apprehensive of seeing Rip, and that's why Rip was staying on the ship. So, uh, this episode was great. Uh, the action sequences were right on. It was sweet. Again, the Kinder subplot where she met her future self, and she was like, oh, you can't get together with another man. It was pretty stupid and pretty boring. And I'd even say, some people say the Hunters weren't that cool in this episode, but when they showed up at the end and they had that big shootout where I, rem I remember distinctly Rip throwing his uh, laser uh, revolver to... Uh, or an extra laser revolver to Jonah Hex and him using it. It was just like such a wacky battle that it was awesome. And of course there's little history stuff like uh, Wells, H.G. Wells was there and he used, uh, Stein used the serum to cure him. And uh, even though it was a serum from the future and that was really cool too. But I really like uh, the different aspects and they really used the setting well. And then the final shootout was just amazing. So I'd have to give this episode a 9.0 out of 10. I hope you've enjoyed this review. Remember to like and subscribe for more content. This has been Jonesy from Jones TV signing off.